poppy people i'm back with another video and today i have a quick unboxing of some new gel polishes that i got in from born pretty they were kind enough to send me over um this selection of gel polishes um this is their like their fall jelly colored series so uh, let's go ahead and hop into this video get these colors swashed out so yeah I do like that, uh, like their new packaging is all like fun, retro, colorful. These are the six polishes that they sent me over to review. Um, oops. These are the instructions here that tell you how to apply the gel polishes. So if you all are new to applying gel polishes, take your time and read that. Um, and yeah, let's take a look at these beautiful colors here. I've been eyeballing this collection for quite some time, so I was super happy when they asked me if I wanted to review it. I'm going to start off with the first color here, and this is BPCA01. Ooh, and this is a really beautiful kind of glassy orange color. Um, I really thought this collection would be perfect for tortoiseshell nails, so definitely stay tuned to the end. I'm going to try my first attempt at tortoiseshell nails. Next, we have the BPCA02. Ooh, and this is a little bit of a deeper glassy orange. Um, perfect for like the fall time. BPCA03. Ooh, and this is like kind of a maroon slash... Um, kind of deep purpley or deep red um, it's kind of like a bloody red um, glassy color it's really pretty BP BPC 804 okay so this is kind of like a deeper glassy orange that has like gold flakes in it that's really pretty too I like that a lot okay so we got that one yeah this this series is really pretty BPC 805 Ooh, this is a really deep brown color. I almost look black. How cool is this? I love this. Wow, this is a really beautiful gel polish collection. So got that. Last but not least, we have the BPCA06. Okay, and this is another really deep um, kind of black, uh, brownish, blackish brown jelly color. So I'm going to go ahead and get these colors swashed out and then we'll get into a quick tortoiseshell tutorial here. BPCA01. Lovely formula. Beautiful consistency. It self levels very nicely. That's really pretty. BPCA02. BPCA03. Ooh, that's pretty. This color would be really cool to do like some Halloween designs with. Like if you're needing like a blood color. Yeah, this is really cool. I like that. And even just one coat of this is enough. But I'm going to go in with two coats of everything. BPCA04. BPCA05. Ooh, that's pretty too. Yeah, all these colors are really nice. BPCA06. Yeah, beautiful. Alrighty, so this is what all the colors are looking like swatched out. So I'm gonna give you all the quick up close. So this first color here is the BPCA01. So it's this really beautiful yellow translucent color and um, yeah I just love that it's like really nice and jelly. Next we have the BPCA02 which is a really nice jelly orange color perfect for this time of year. Actually this whole collection is just a beautiful fall collection. BPCA03 which is this really beautiful kind of vampy red. BPCA04 which is this really beautiful kind of um, coffee brown with like these really beautiful gold flakes in it. Love those gold flakes. BPCA05 is this really beautiful kind of brown coffee color. Really, really pretty. Nice jelly coffee. And then BPCA06, which is just a little bit of a deeper coffee color. This one is very, it's like just burly opaque, but it's really, really pretty. So I really like this collection a lot. It's actually very perfect for this time of the year, the fall. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into a quick tutorial. I do wanna show you guys how to do some tortoiseshell nails. This is actually gonna be my first time doing that as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take just the palette here and um, I have my little practice nail here ready to go. And then I'm gonna use the BPCA02, the BPCA05, and the BPCA03. 
A06 to do this design. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna do just two little dots of the 05, which is like that kind of light coffee brown. Okay, and then the BPC A06, I'm gonna do just a really light dot of that on the palette as well. Like so. I'll pull that off to the side for just a moment and then I'm gonna go in with my BPC A02. I'm gonna just do two quick coats of that onto the entire nail, like so. Actually, I think I'm just going with one coat of it. I think one coat would be just fine. So yeah, I'm gonna just do one coat and I'm gonna cure that for 60. Now that that one layer is being cured, I'm gonna go in with a thin layer of base coat. I'm gonna use this base coat that I recently got from Amazon um, that I've really been liking. I'm just gonna do a quick thin layer of that onto the entire nail. Sorry, my baby's toy in the background keep going off. Now you wanna take a liner brush here after you have that one coat. And I'm going with a quick now that the base coat has been applied, I'm going to take my liner brush here with um, this brown and I'm just going to create, I guess, like some little triangles in it just to kind of give it that like tortoise look. And I'm just going to kind of put that all over. And because you put it in the base coat, it's going to kind of spread out and bloom in a sense, you know? And I'm gonna take some up here. I'm gonna take some down here. Before it's fully cured, I'm gonna go in with that deeper brown. And I'm just gonna do that off to kinda like the side. It's kinda like, um, you know, adding it in where I see fit, essentially. Oops. Okay, come on. towards the edge of the nail here and I'll probably do one back here okay and then from here I'm going to cure it so this is what it looks like after it's been cured there's still a slight tacky layer and with that I do want to go ahead and add some gold flakes into the nail some foil flakes here I'm just gonna add some gold flakes kind of like randomly throughout the nail just to give it a little more you know a little a little pizzazz I'll just press it in with my hand and that looks really good and so the last thing I want to do is just encase everything with one more layer of that original base color and just, I'm just gonna put that over the entire nail here I'm just going to cure that Alrighty, so this is how the nail is looking after it's been encased with the second layer of that gel polish. Now I'm just going to go in with the top coat. I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, Born Pretty Super Top Coat. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to try this design again though. And I'm going to try it with um, encasing the nail first before I do the gold foil flakes. And I think those foil flakes will kind of pop a little bit more. Um, so I'm going to try this design one more time and we'll compare the two at the end. Like I said, I want to try that one more time. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with that BPC A02 color and I'm going to apply this to the entire nail. Just going to do one coat of it, like so. And I'm going to cure this for 60 seconds. This is what that one layer of the polish looks like. And I'm going to go in with that base coat again and I'm just going to apply just a generous layer onto the entire nail. And this is gonna help the, the color spread a little bit easier. And then from there, I'm gonna just go ahead and apply that CA02 
05 color. And I'm going to do it like I did the first nail. Just going to apply blobs all over the nail, really. <laughs> like so. So I'm back here. Maybe even at the tip. Oh, that looks good, actually. And then from there, I'm going to take that darker color and just going to put it towards the end of some of these, some of the first ones that I did. Just again, just applying it where I kind of see fit. Like so. All right, like that, I'm going to cure. This is how this one is looking. And then I'm going to go ahead and encase this with one more layer of that base color like so okay and then from there I'm gonna add the um, foil flakes and we'll see what the difference looks like between the two nails alrighty so this is what it looks like after it's been cured and it's still tacky from that base coat I want to be gay. okay hold on y'all I'll turn it on for you hold on oh. and now I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, some more of these gold foil flakes, okay? Yes. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put that onto the nail. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this all over the nail where I see fit. One there, put one here, and I just lightly tap it into that sticky layer. Put one right here. And then from here, I'm just going to go ahead and apply top coat. Let me use that super top coat from Born Pretty. And then uh, we'll go ahead and compare the two. This is what the two tortoiseshell designs are looking like. This is one that I encased before I did the foils, and this is the one that I encased after I did the foils. And honestly, they both look really good. Uh, it's funny enough, I do think I kind of still like this one, but I do like that the gold foil flakes kind of shine through a little bit better on this nail. So yeah, I do hope that this tutorial was helpful. Let me know how you all do your tortoiseshell nails. Um, this design is absolutely beautiful. I think at some point I do want to wear some tortoiseshell nails. Um, I did actually do some um, nail wraps that were tortoiseshell. I'll try to leave a picture of them here um, up in the corner. But those were some nail wraps that I think I got from like Shop Missé or something like that. Some discount store. Um, and they held up pretty well. But yeah, it's cool to know that I can actually make this design myself. This is really, really beautiful. Yeah, this kit of these six um, jelly fall colors seems like the perfect kit to do some tortoiseshell nails. As you all can see, they turned out beautifully. Um, so yeah, another special shout out to Born Pretty for sending these products over for a review. I do have a discount code with Born Pretty. I'm going to leave that here on the screen as well as in the description box below. Along with all the products that I've used in this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you all like what you saw, here definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye